Welcome, everyone. Um, welcome. I think Bruce will do the official welcome when he comes back on. But um, I just wanted to start off by just doing some general housekeeping rules. But firstly, my name is Nobi Lengobo, and I'm the National Ministry Leader at Alpha, and I'm joining Sam today um, for this training. Um, I think some of you might be very used to Zoom. A year and a few months ago, we were all learning how to navigate this space. And um, so I'm sure some of these rules will come naturally to you. But because we're recording the session to make it available to you afterwards, we just ask that um, while the training input is being given, that you keep yourselves on mute. We can help with that if you, if you struggle. Um, that just means that we'll have a nice, smooth recording that we can share after this call. Um, if you have any questions as it goes, please feel free to use the chat, but I'm sure there'll be a Q&A session um, at different points in the training. So if you have your questions, just keep note of them and you'll be able to ask them a little bit later if you can't share them in the chat. Um, again, the session is being recorded, so you should have gotten a little message um, telling you it's recorded. So if you're happy with that, um, then we can continue on with the training. But as we get started, I would love to open up in prayer. So let's pray. Lord, we thank you so much for this morning together. Um, thank you, Lord, once again for the gift of this technology and this tool that allows us to connect from different parts of the country um, to be able to learn together this morning from Sam um, and the rest of the team. We pray, Lord, that uh, in this time, as we seek ways of reaching out to people and creating spaces for community and conversation, Lord, that you might guide us to help us create really uh, invitational communities that can welcome new people in, especially in this season of difficulty in the life of the church and in the life of so many people around us. So we ask for a great session this morning, Lord, we pray for good connection, that everyone can stay connected throughout and just fruitful and enjoyable discussion. We ask all of this in your holy name. Amen. Amen. Great. So I'll hand, hand over to Sam to get us started. Awesome. Um, thank you so much, Ngobile. As Ngobile said, um, my name is Sam Ace, and I am the City Ministry Development, uh, Development uh, Lead here in Durban. And um, thank you so much for, for joining our training this morning. Um, and also just to thank the, the Diocese uh, of Natal just for opening up the space for us to be able to come um, together and learn together. Um, thank you for really creating this platform for, for not only the churches here in, in, in KZN, but for, for, for churches anywhere in, in the country. Um, so now I would love to share my screen and we're going to go through training today. So we're just going to go through the basics of running Alpha online. Um, and before we start, um, Nobila did say that um, by now, we should, um, a lot of us are, are, are used to, to doing stuff on Zoom. And so just by a show of thumbs up at the bottom where the reactions tab is, if you can just give me a thumbs up, if you have one, either run an alpha in your church, or two, if you've attended an online training um, in the past year. So it would have been a similar training or the same training. Um, that will just help me to gauge the, the approach of this training that, that, that I need to, to use. And obviously it will also shape our engagement during the training. So if you can give me thumbs up, if you've run off in your church physically or online, or if you've um, attended an, an online training, my thumbs are up. Let's see the thumbs. Then that'll give me an idea. Um, I can see the thumbs are coming up. Yay, yay, yay. Um, if, yay, yay, more thumbs, more thumbs. Um, if, if you're struggling to give me thumbs up for any reason, you can just quickly um, unmute just to say yes, <laughs> and, then, and then mute yourself again. That really will, will help. Um, if you sound like a choir, then I, I'll know that most of the people here have done the training or have run Alpha. Yes. Awesome. Thanks, Jeanette. Okay. It, it, it seems like 50% of the people on this call, I think it would be fair to say that, 50% of the people on this call um, 
have, have run alpha. And then the second thing that I, I, I want to, to, um, to double check is this training was advertised um, by the diocese as a, a, a Zulu training. So um, that, would, that was going to be presented in Zulu. And I know that the plans um, did change after an, inv an invite, the first invite had gone out. So I just wanted to double check again with everybody. Are you happy for me to, to conduct this training in English or to switch um, um, uh, my, my communication between English and Zulu? English, are you happy with English? Um, and English and Zulu? English and Zulu. English and Zulu, awesome. Awesome. English, English, I don't understand Zulu. Or, or Spanish. <laughs> I don't understand Spanish. <laughs> okay. All right. Awesome. Um, I'm going to share my screen now and then we can um, kick off the training. Can you see that? Yes, we can. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. So this training is how to run Alpha online. So um, it's to equip you. Um, if you're a church leader, it's to equip you and your team. If you're an Alpha administrator, equipping you and your team to run Alpha online. So um, as we all, all know that um, Alpha is the same whether it's online or in person. We're still exploring life. We're still exploring faith, Jesus, together with others. So um, if we're a church running Alpha, we are helping others that are our guests on our Alphas to explore life, faith, and, and Jesus. <clears throat> so the main points that we are going to be focusing on today is small groups. We're going to focus on platforms and we're gonna focus on the weekend away. And um, I'm not going to wait until the end of the training for a Q and A. Um, I'm just going to, to gauge how far I, I, I go um, as I go along the training and I'll stop every now and again, just to make sure that it, everyone um, who has a question can ask their question. Or if you, if you while, I'm, while I'm, I'm conducting the training, if you're happy to pop your question into the chat, We'll try to answer some questions as we go along. So we would love to um, just share some small group top tips um, for, for Alpha Online. So we all, if you've run Alpha before, or if you've attended an, an Alpha training um, before um, lockdown and before we started doing things online, you would remember that um, we had small and big groups, depending on how big our alpha was. Um, but for alpha online, we are, we are um, just giving the tip or we're advising that your groups are small. So smaller, small groups. So for example, um, a, a group of five to six people, including your, um, including your, your host, your host as the person that is facilitating the discussion. Um, shorter discussion time. So the discussion time um, usually on Alpha is 45 minutes, but we finding a shorter discussion time um, gives gives more engagement um, in in the in 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 the online Alpha because we want everybody to stay <clears throat> engaged. We want everybody to participate. And you you would have found at the beginning when you started doing things online, engagement um, was a little bit challenging because. People are not in the same space together. People are online. Some of the cameras are off, um, as you see on this training here. So it's very, um, it's sort of challenging to engage with people. So we say smaller, small groups and shorter discussions. You need stronger leaders and you need um, to encourage engagement on the platform. So in terms of stronger leaders, we're not um, necessarily saying that you need people that are boisterous, people that are pushy but we need people who are confident in, in facilitating this discussion, probing some questions, probing engagement, and, um, and just nudging people to participate. Whereas before on, on an alpha, on face-to-face, -face, we would say, let the discussion flow, um, don't call people out. Um, but in this time we're asking for stronger leaders where if you feel that the, 
the um, the, the engagement is not happening. We want we want your leaders to be confident to say, what do you guys really think, or um, what do you guys really think about this point? To really um, press in and um, ensure that a discussion um, is taking place or engagement is taking place. Because to be quite honest, and obviously encouraging uh, an engage engagement on the platform, and because again it is an online platform, it's a little bit challenging. And um, we we know that video um, it, it, it's at the moment in 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 the in the crisis that we are in in the world. Um, and when we started at the beginning of lockdown, video became the closest thing that we could have. Um, the closest to face to face, um, the closest to engagement, the closest to connection. So it's the um, it's it's the closest thing to face to face meeting. Um, is uh, it, it's not a conference call anymore. It's it's an engagement. It's a platform where people can engage. So although we're making this space, although making this space as an invitational and hospitable as possible, maybe a little bit challenging. There are a few things that we can do uh, for those small groups, for the leaders to make the space um, 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 good for engagement. And how, um, still on small groups, how we do this is dependent on the team that we that 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 we set up. So the team, the team, the team is still the same. If you've done alpha before, there's always been an MC, there's always been a host helpers, technical helper, and prayer team. Only this time the approach is is um, a little bit um, different to to what we were used to before. So when we talk about um, your your team, we, when we talk about an MC, so usually on your face to face alpha you'd have an MC at the front of your church if you're having it at church, um, welcoming people in, making people feel welcome, and making people feel at home, easing easing people in, easing people's nerves. So this time you want to make sure that choosing the right MC is critical um, to the success of your alpha. So you'll need someone who brings in a ton of energy and enthusiasm and who can keep the energy of the, of the whole group, the, the alpha group online, fun and, um, and engaged. So, so as, as you saw when you we were coming into, into, this, into this group this morning, when you we were signing in, we were engaging. So it would be the same for your alpha. You need someone to lead that engagement, welcoming people in, asking people what, they had, what they're having for breakfast, really trying to make people ease in. If you've got some, um, some icebreakers, sharing those icebreakers, making people laugh and just making people feel welcome so that's the role of your mc um, here online and you need your hosts your hosts and your helpers they play the similar role that they would normally play on a on an alpha that's face to face so the role of the hosts and helpers during online alpha doesn't change much the group hosts may still need to be a little bit more energetic and dynamic than they are in person Obviously, this is to help with uh, maintaining the energy and maintaining that en the engagement um, and participation on, on, on the alpha. So before we would, we would normally say your, your host um, needs to be not talking too much. So if I was an alpha host and this was my alpha group, this would be all right. Um, because I'm talking way too much. But for this online um, alpha, we need your host and helpers to be highly engaged. Again, similar to your MC, um, a, a little bit strong and not afraid to, to facilitate this discussion or probe questions that will make people a little um, um, at ease to speak up. Then you need your technical helper. So your technical helper, if, if, the, um, if the MC brings the fun, then the technical helper brings in the function. So your technical helper um, is the person that assists the administrator to set up the, 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 the alpha online. It's the person that helps um, uh, probably letting people in. If some people are having challenges, as Mobile was just assisting some people who are struggling with videos, um, so the technical helper is there to support that, that function. If there's people who are struggling to come in, they're in the waiting room and for some reason um, they cannot get in, the technical helper steps in for, so, 
for anything technical around your alpha. While it's happening, you need this person on your team to ensure that everybody gets in and everybody um, gets the help that they need in order to participate. And I would say, not lastly, but firstly, you need a prayer team. Just as we encourage um, with your alpha that's face-to-face, -face, the prayer team is, is very, very crucial, even on Alpha Online, because we all know, and um, a lot of churches can, can, you know, can, can attest to this, that once you start planning your alpha, it's almost as if the, the time you start talking about running an alpha in a church, stuff starts happening. Um, that is just challenges and things that, that, that want to block that alpha from, from happening. So we know that a prayer team is crucial. So building a prayer team for your online alpha is just as important as building one for your in-person alpha. So you need people supporting you, supporting your team, praying for your team, behind the scenes, praying for the guests, for God to move powerfully in the lives of, of your guests. You need people to pray for the logistics, pray for the preparations, pray for technology, pray for internet connection. You need to be covered in prayer from the time you start penciling down those plans to run your on online alpha during your online alpha and afterwards for, um, for, for your guests and for God to just move in, in their lives. And still on, on small group top tips, um, as I said earlier on talking about hospitality is it's really difficult to 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 create an environment of hospitality and invitation online um, but the alpha team there's things that you can really do put in place for for this to happen or for this not to be so so um, challenging and engagement is one of the things just just encouraging engagement makes people feel at home setting people at ease and guys you can ask the questions you can you can um engage with the chat to ask your questions share your comments um uh, encourage participation that is ho being hospitable um sort of like in your home when you've got people coming in um visitors you want to say guys just feel at home if you want to drink please don't be shy to go to the kitchen and or run the tap and get yourself a glass of water. Even here, if you need to ask anything, pop it in the chat. We've got some games on our, on our website when you register for your alpha that can help you um, in, 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 in your introduction stage of your online alpha when you're doing icebreakers. So anything at all that you can do to make this space feel as hospitable as possible, um, your team needs to do that. Logistics. In, you want to ensure that you've got internet firstly and that the connection is good, um, especially if you're the host, if you are a helper, if you are the alpha administrator, you are part of that, part of that core team. You want to make sure that you're at a space where you've got good connectivity. Timing, your alpha needs to start on time. Um, if you've advertised that you're, you're starting your alpha at six o'clock in the evening, and you're finishing at a certain time, you want to make sure that you are respecting your guests' time by starting early, um, by starting on time and finishing on time. And make sure that your communication is clear um, with regards to, to, to your alpha. Um, communicate. Um, when, when you're communicating your details, you want to make sure that your invitation is clear. What are people expecting? And, and so forth. And you want to make sure that when you're communicating your alpha, when you're doing your marketing, that um, as the alpha administrator and your team, you, you want to make it exciting for people to want to join your alpha, especially if it's online. You want to um, use selling points like there's no commute necessary, like how people would normally drive to church or drive to the location of your alpha. You can log in from work or join over your lunch break, log in while you're driving home, make sure it's safe for you to do so. As Bruce um, is in the car we saw this morning, log in while, um, log in from the comfort of your own home, log in in your pajamas, just make that communication fun and um, so that you want people to, to come and, and, and be part of your, of your alpha. Host preparation, you wanna make sure that your hosts are prepared. 
And one of the things that you want to prepare your host for is to expect vulnerability. So we, we know that with alpha in person is that it takes about three to four weeks for the group to start forming a bond, to start um, uh, uh, forming trust in the group. Um, but we've, we've learned that on Alpha Online, because people are so desperate to engage, people are so desperate to connect. Um, and it's something that at the beginning we did not foresee as Alpha um, ourselves, is people opening up right at the beginning. So people sharing um, really their deepest feelings, things that are happening in their lives, their challenges, right at the beginning. You want to make sure that your hosts are prepared for responding to this vulnerability. So um, not to necessarily expect it on week three or week four, just even on week one. And I'm speaking from, from experience um, in Alpha that we ran in our church um, online on the very, very first, first day of Alpha, when we broke into our small groups, people, three people in my group started opening up and sharing there was there were there was lots of tears and there was lots of comforting from um one another from from the other people in the group so expect this as host and make sure that you prepared for it that it doesn't knock you over your feet because you were not prepared for it that you know how to engage with people when this vulnerability starts showing up at the beginning and um, you're ready to respond to it and for quality discussion you want to make sure that your video is on um, and that you are in a quiet setting. I know that this part is a little bit challenging since um, a lot of people are still at home. I speak for myself, I'm, I'm still working from home. I have two little ones. So sometimes it's still a little bit challenging to have a quiet setting, but we just ask um, for, for you as, as a host to try as much as possible to, um, to be in a quiet setting. Because if you as a host are not um, in a quiet setting, and I know there's grace for this because we are all on the same, in the same boat, um, your engagement is interrupted. Um, it, it, it doesn't, if every time, in every two minutes, um, people are, are just coming into the video, they're not into the camera, they're not part of your alpha, it can be a little bit dis distracting for the people in your group. You wanna make sure that your video is on, um, just to assist with that engagement and participation that, that I'm I was talking about. It's very hard to engage with um, just the names on the screens um, with Alpha Online or anything online these days. Um, but rather when you see people, you can see their reactions. It's still hard to read body language, um, but it's, it, it makes it a little bit less challenging when we can see people's faces. Are there any questions before I continue? Are there any questions at all? Sam, there was a question from Andrew in the chat earlier on. Mm -hmm. uh, when you mentioned the shorter discussion time, um, he just wanted clarity as it, do you mean shorter and more often? So perhaps if you can give the framework of when the discussion time happens and why we say shorter for online. I'm so sorry, I didn't, I didn't uh, elaborate on this. Um, that's a really good question, Andrew, thank you for it. So when, when we are on Alpha in person, we've always said our discussion time is 45 minutes. So when we now are online and we say shorter discussion time, we wanna cap the discussion time to 30 minutes. I don't know if I spoke about that. So we wanna cap it to 30 minutes. Um, we don't want the, the discussion to be longer because we tend to see with Alpha Online, people lose that um, the momentum with the discussion. Um, people lose focus because it's easy to disengage when you, are, when you are online. It's easy to switch off your camera and not be engaged at all. So just to keep that discussion going, to keep the momentum going, to keep the fun going, um, we, we encourage the discussion time to be shorter. I don't know if that answers your question. I, I can't, I can't see. So Andrew, um, yeah, Andrew, does um, that answer your question? Thumbs up. <laughs> okay. Well, we hope so. Yeah. Andrew, if you need yeah. more clarification, just, oh, there no, we no, go. That's fine. that's fine. Sorry. Great. So I, I couldn't find my button for a moment. <laughs> no um, problem. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Andrew. So are there, are there any questions at, at all? Any other questions? And I'm happy to, 
to carry on. And I realized that I haven't said a word in Zulu. <laughs> I realized, I, realized I, too. I hope the Zulu speaking um, people attending here can forgive me for this. It's a really, really force of habit um, that, that we, we do everything um, in English these days. <laughs> So um, if we can continue with um, top tips for our hosts and for our helpers, um, one of the things that we can do, and we're doing it so well in this training this morning, is to minimize technical distractions. And one of the biggest ways um, that contribute to the, the, the distractions here is earphones and headsets and so forth. So you wanna make sure that when, when, when you are connected, You've got your headsets. If you're going to be using headsets, you've got your earphones. Um, if you are in a place that doesn't require you to have and, you, and you're happy with, with sound, um, like the room that I'm using right now, I am, I am by myself. Um, there's no one that is being distracted by my speaking and by the, the noise from the training. So, and, and you guys are not being distracted, maybe apart from the painting behind me. Um, then the one way that you can minimize some, some um, distractions is make sure you, you've got your earphones on, you've got your, your headset on, um, just for also, this, this will also um, allow for high engagement because then you, you won't be engaged and then looking for your earphones or your headset once you are in the, in, in the, in, in, in the alpha. Um, check your connection. I think I've touched on this. If, if you can, if, you, if you've got a wire, a cable that plugs into your computer, if you're not sure if your connection is going to hold up, you can make sure that you've done all of this before um, your, 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 your course starts online. Because if you're going to start, especially if you're a host, especially if you're the alpha administrator, the MC or the technical help in the background, um, and if you're going to be engaging with, with, you, with the guests, it's very distracting for, um, for you to leave your spot to start going to look for stuff, maybe your microphone or your headphones or a cable for the internet because your internet is not holding up. So if you can um, just make sure that all of this is in check and in place before you start um, the call. And one thing that we have, we've done so much of in the past, even us as the alpha team, at the beginning when we were all just hit with this online um, um, thing, online way of doing things, is doing a practice call. Practice, practice, practice. There is actually a member of our team, I, I, if I recall, she practiced about 10 times before their first alpha at their church because she was just not sure what to expect. So practice, practice, practice with your team. Do a practice call. Do um, a test call with your alpha team to make sure that everything is working well. Your Zoom links are working. Um, the passwords, the login details, the small group um, is working, the cameras. Ch just to check everything, simulate an alpha and, and just do a practice call online if you can. Um, we, really, we really recommend this because if you do this, then you would, you would be ensuring that your team is, is, is comfortable online. They are um, not necessarily uh, comfortable with, with uh, participating in the group, but comfortable with the fact that the platform is working and um, their engagement is not going to be distracted um, by the fact that they are ill-prepared for, 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 your, for your alpha. And looking behind you, um, again, just again in the in a quiet setting, ensure that there's nothing around you that may be a distraction to your group. If you've got a painting behind you, like I I have, and I'm sorry if it's distracting you, um, just ensure that it's not something that will, people are gonna like be focusing on and not focusing on on you, or, or focused in the in 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 the engagement of your alpha. Um, make sure your video is on. Um, yeah, just make sure that you're comfortable in the room that you are in. If you are in your, if you are in your bedroom, um, there, there was a thing that people, people were saying at the beginning of, of, of lockdown is that now uh, for the first time, we're letting the world into our homes um, because we are on Zoom at home. And so make sure that whatever part of your home you're showing on the video, you are happy, you are comfortable for the world to see that. Um, there's no hanging washing at the back, for example. 
um, that anything that is behind you, you are happy um, and it's not going to cause a distraction for, for your alpha. Top tips for our guests. So I, 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 always, I always feel that top tips for our guests are top tips for our hosts because um, in order for our guests to engage well, the, the host needs to be well prepared. So the, the host, we need as hosts now to encourage our, our guests to be on video so that you as the host can engage well with them. So that your engagement as, 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 as well is going to be, is going to be high. Um, even if there are quiet moments that the engagement is going, is going to be, um, have, mo have a, a momentum um, that you don't lose video. I think video is so important. Of course, there will be people who won't be able to put their videos on because of their internet connection and the capabilities of their internet. But for, for the most part, if people can have their videos on, please, as a host, you need to encourage this. Um, and encourage them to, to join from an, a quiet environment as well. So we've asked the host to do the same. We encourage your, 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 your guests to do the same as well. Again, we will have to have grace here because we know that people are connecting from home. There's dogs barking in the background. So it's not going to be as quiet as it would be if you were maybe at work or in, in a room by yourself with, with, with your family members not being there, but do encourage if they can. Ask everybody to unmute during discussion. For your host, we, for, for your guests, we say they need to unmute because now we must remember that this is not a, a training anymore. This is alpha. We want people to engage face to face. People are sitting, they're sitting around each other. They can see, they can see each other. They're sitting in a circle. They are engaged the whole time. Here online, for that engagement to still, to still carry on, we ask everybody to unmute. So if this was an alpha group, everyone on here would be um, unmuted because we want people to engage. We don't want people to, to say something and then switch off the microphone on and, and on and off all the time. We want people to have like a, an organic, an organic conversation, an organic flow of the of the discussion. So if 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 your your guests can unmute their mics and the 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 host can mute their mouth their mic if they are not talking, because it's not about the host, it's about the guests that are there and for the host to facilitate the discussion. Ask guests not to use green screens during um, during alpha. Um, so we, so we we ask for this during the discussion for people not to use green screens. They can be really distracting. Um, I know that with online platforms, there's now the the fun backgrounds that you can have, and there's one that I like blurring out your background if you don't want people to, 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 to see that. I, I think that's still okay. But some backgrounds are really distracting. And you find that in, in, some, in some online calls, when you put on some people have some really fancy and funny backgrounds and, and you end up for the first 10 minutes of the call discussing the background of the people. Um, so try and minimize this and try to, try to encourage your guests to be in... Um, an authentic environment as possible. So if it's a room, maybe a plain background, nothing that would be there to, to, to interrupt or distract the other guests. And it invites guests to use gallery view. You will see on Zoom at the top, um, when, when we are not um, sh uh, sharing a, a screen like how I'm sharing now, um, you've got gallery view, which places everybody's faces on, on, on the screen so that you can see everyone's faces and you, you're not having the, I can't remember what you call the other view, where it, the, the host view, I think, where you would only see my face. So encourage your guests to put the gallery view so that they can see everybody's faces on the screen so that whoever is talking, whoever is, is talking during that discussion, people can see who that person is. Ngabe Ikona Imbuzo at this time. Any questions? Um, Mobile, do, do we have any questions in the chat? 
No questions in the chat right now. Awesome. Could this mean that I am doing such a great job that there are no questions? <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. So now um, let's get into your actual video material, your alpha resources that you need to run your alpha. So they are, if you go onto our website, we obviously encourage you to still register your alpha on our website. You will see, we'll, we'll touch on it uh, um, later on in, in this presentation um, in terms of letting us know that your alpha is online. But when you go into our website and you've registered your alpha and you're downloading your, your, your videos, we've got different um, resolution options that you, can, that you can choose from smallest to biggest. And you can, you can, now, um, you can now download the resolution that um, is suitable for the alpha that you're running. So if you're running on a laptop and you've got really, really good internet connection speed you can go for the biggest one if you're using a big screen you can you can go for for the for the biggest resolution or if you've got really really good internet you can go for that one but there are people we do realize that there's people who will not be um um who will not be having a good quality internet or their speed is not going to be so fast they're using smaller devices or they or their alpha uh, they they they're using they, they're running alpha differently, maybe sharing videos with people to watch separately on their own, on their phones, before they're coming onto a discussion, um, which, which um, we can talk about later. So we've got these videos um, on our website. And all you do is you click on the, on the video um, resolution that you want, and you click download. Or if you're sharing a link with your, with your group, you can click on your link and then on your on your resolution and then you can share the link as the arrow is pointed. I think Mobila drew this arrow as the arrow is pointed on here. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yes. Um, any questions? I can hear some background. Bukutu, is there it was there a question? Okay, maybe not. And so we get into the part about invitational assets. This just basically means resources, stuff that we've prepared to help you with your invitation or creating invites for your alpha, spreading the word, whether it's on social media, on WhatsApp, on messages, what can you use? Where do you get this stuff from? Um, we've created some, some, some really cool stuff on our website once you've registered your alpha you can go there and you can create your invites. We've done the hard work of doing the designs for you. All you need to do is insert the information. When is your alpha starting? Um, where and all those details. But in terms of the, the design and um, the, the, the creation, which is the bigger part that usually even for for face to face alpha it's the stuff that costs that costs the church to to create the invites in terms of printing and design and, and all of that stuff um, it, it, we've done that part for you so we've got a couple of options these are just the three that we're sharing but there's a lot more options on the on the website so and we've created um, catch catch phrases of like Honest conversations for uncertain times, because these are uncertain times, you can pop this on your invitation, try alpha. Is there more to life than this? This is one that we, we use all the time. I think most of us know about. You can, um, you can use that one. We've got another one um, that says honest conversations for uncertain times. Um, and then my personal favorite, um, oh, I think I don't have it here, but let me just try and go back. Uh, oopsie. Okay, maybe it's not on this training, but my personal favorite, which you will see when it's on, 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 on our, when you go on our website is the one that says, pause Netflix and try alpha. Um, that is my personal favorite because everybody during this lockdown is on Netflix and watching series after series. So you, you, there's an invitation where you can choose, it says pause Netflix and try alpha. Um, so there's some really exciting invitational um, 
goods and invitational assets that you can download on our website. Before I get into the more resources, are there any questions at all? I'm happy to answer questions. Awesome. So when you go onto our website, you'll see we've got a resource page. Uh, we've got a resource page that um, where you can download all the things that you need in order to prepare for your alpha. We've got some, as you see under resources here, we've got alpha online overview. So there's a lot of um, uh, things that you can download um, on, on from, the, from there just to give you an overview of what is, what is it like running alpha online and all the top tips about running alpha online. Um, there's a guide on how to download and use Zoom. Since a lot of people are using Zoom this time, we, we do realize that a lot of you have become... Um, have become um, well acquainted with, with Zoom and Zoom is now your first go-to platform when you, when, when you wanna do something online. But we also do realize that not everybody's doing Zoom. So there's other platforms like Facebook, uh, Skype. Some people are even running Alpha on WhatsApp. There's lots of churches using WhatsApp to run Alpha. So um, when, you go, when you go onto our websites, there's a lot of tips and guides on, on on platforms as well in terms of um, which platform would be most suitable for you because we do realize that churches have different needs and um, Zoom is not a, a response to everybody's need um, at this time. Um, you can see there there's guide on running Alpha for Youth online. You can view it there and you can also download it um, because we're also encouraging churches to be really be to be highly engaged with the youth at this time, um, young people are, are among those that are really struggling during this time. And we do, we strongly believe in, in the resources that we cr we've created for churches, that we've got resources that can help youth leaders and youth ministers in churches to help them engage with young people in their churches and young people in their community. So there is a guide there on how to run Alpha um, for youth online. So um, you would remember earlier on when I was talking about, we would still love you to register your alpha, even though it is on, on, on the online platform. So when, you get, when you're registering on your alpha, there's um, a little tab that we've added for you to just check to say, so that we know that when we see this alpha on our database, that this is an alpha online, and we know how to support you um, accordingly. And also it unlocks all of your resources that um, we would then send you and the resource that would be then be available for you to access um, um, for, for your alpha online. So we, once you've registered your alpha, you'll see that little cir circle. We just need you to click on that, which um, lets us know that this is an online alpha. Um, so at the moment we don't we I don't have anything on here, but if you frequent our website, you will see that um, there is a, a a page with all our events. So I I do encourage you to um, to go online every now and again and just check upcoming webinars. We usually host um, other um, topics um, around Alpha. In the past couple of months, we've been hosting topics on, um, uh, for example, uh, webinars. We've been having different guests talking about how to engage youth, um, how to stay connected um, with, with the church and with the community during this time. We have different speakers speaking on different topics during this season of um, this um, uh, during this pandemic. And also these webinars have been very um, encouraging and motivating for church leaders, because we do realize that as church leaders, as, um, as, as leaders in the church, as, as um, um, lay ministers in, in, the, in, in the church, that we also need encouragement and we also need to stay fueled and motivated um, to continue doing ministry during the season. And we found that these webinars that we've been hosting have been really helpful just um, in refreshing leaders in, in the churches. So do check 
do check um, this page out. Mobile, is there anything I'm missing in terms of um, upcoming webinars? Um, have we have we got anything loaded at the moment on our on our website that's upcoming? Yes, so we have uh, just organized and officially organized yesterday. So hot off the press, we have a webinar next week, Thursday, Reaching Teens, where we'll have Dan Blythe, who is the head of youth for Alpha International, join, joining Shoni, who is our youth lead in South Africa, talking about reaching teens and peer-to-peer -peer evangelism. So I'll send you guys the link to register here. Um, but if you also want to send it to your youth leaders to join us as well, uh, this coming Thursday, the 1st of July, please do. Awesome. Um, at this point, before I carry on, um, are there any questions at all? Any questions at all? I'm happy to I'm happy to answer any questions before we carry on. Any clarification? No clarification. Um, for you, um, I'm, I'm just wondering, is Bruce still on the line? Is Bruce still on? I don't, is, is I don't think he's here. Time? Yeah. Oh. oh, he is here, Diocese of Jatal. He is here. Maybe he just can't speak right now. Okay. Um, Mobile, before we, we carry on, is there anything that, um, that you, you feel um, we should be touching on, on, on the subjects that we've spoken about already? No, I think that you've covered everything. And I think um, as long as uh, everyone knows that in terms of the structure, we're, sort, we're the same in terms of how we run Alpha and in terms of being mm -hmm. invitational, inviting people in. Um, but no, nothing to add. I think you've covered everything. So if anyone has any questions, they can please do share them. Mm. Awesome. Um, I know that this is, um, oh, some, someone is, oh, okay. I thought I, thought I saw someone talking, but their mic um, is, is off. So there's, there's other platforms besides, um, besides um, Zoom that we can use for, for running our alpha online. And I'm just mindful of the time, but I know that um, this, this, the link to this training will be shared and I will be sharing this, the training material that I've been using this morning with Bruce so that if there's anything that, that you want to go back to and just double check when you're running your alpha um, it is there. Um, and we will, I'll be sending a document to, 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 to Bruce, which he, he already has on the different platforms that you can use when you're running alpha as I touched on earlier is um, yes, we will, we will Bongani, we will share them um, the, the train, this training material um, with you. So um, we'll, we'll share the platforms as well, um, the different platforms that, that, that you could use to, to host your alpha. So you can use WhatsApp, you can use um, um, Facebook, you, you can use Skype as we spoke about earlier. Um, but the one that you know, I really wanted to dive in, because I know also that the, the diocese is using Zoom for all your engagement. So um, I'm making the assumption that most of the people that are here are comfortable with, with, with using Zoom now. Um, and you can just give me a thumbs up. And, and, and that, is the, that is the platform that, yes, so I see one thumbs up. So I'm, I'm thinking everybody is okay and comfortable with, with using Zoom. So um, I'm not gonna get too much into, 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 that, into using Zoom. Um, what we can do for, for anyone that hasn't run Alpha, before is we can, um, I'm, I'm happy to, to schedule another call just with, with those people who want to dig into Zoom as a platform to run Alpha. I'm, I'm really happy um, to, to go back to, to my team and say we need to do another, another call maybe with a, a bunch of, of you that would like to dig deeper into Zoom as a platform and how you would 
practically use that for running alpha because we've got um, breakaway breakaway um, groups when people have to go go break away for the discussion um, your host needs to l learn how to navigate and how do you prepare them for that um, and that is another session all altogether that I don't think we should go into this morning um, but I'm going to just um, get a sense from Bruce after this if we should do another another training maybe 30 minutes or 45 minutes of just getting into zoom and how and how we can use it for alpha in your in your parish that would be good sam awesome oh there's bruce awesome <laughs> awesome sorry my, my, my daughter is playing up this morning okay there's grace bruce um yeah uh, so are there any any questions with regards to to that sam andrea um asked in terms of maybe we talk about breakaway um so maybe if you can maybe talk through maybe the structure of an online so when people would go um i don't think we can go into detail in terms of how yeah. breakout rooms work on zoom but maybe the overview would help give guidance yeah. um for the session so you would so you would know if you've run alpha before that um you come together and you and you watch the video together and then what what then happens is you break away into your small groups for a discussion. So Zoom allows, or any any online platform these days allows for this to happen, but on Zoom, you can um, create breakaway um, rooms, breakout rooms where the groups can go into for those discussions to happen separately in the groups. Um, so that that is why um, I was mentioning that we can have a different call just to talk about how Zoom works. But, but um, just simply on Zoom, you can do that. You can come together like this as a collective, watch the video. So if we were an alpha group, uh, uh, the, the bigger group, we could come together and watch alpha together and then we'd go away into breakout rooms in groups of, I would say six. And then in those breakout rooms, we'd have our own separate discussion on the talks that we've just seen. Um, the, there, is, the, there is a function on Zoom that allows for groups to break away and have their discussions. So the discussion wouldn't be here as we are 36 here. It would be chaotic. So our, our Zoom allows us to break out into the groups and then we'd go away in groups of five to six and then we'd have our discussions there. And then we, we can either, depending on how you structured your alpha or how big your alpha is, at the end, you can leave from those groups, exit the, the entire evening from those groups, or depending on how your church has set it up, you come back to this main, um, to this main screen and um, everyone would come and say bye from here. Um, then you, you know that alpha is finished. Um, Mobile, is there anything that you'd like to add? Sam? If if you if you want to make uh, Mobila a host, uh, she can show you something. I'm not host anymore, so I can't do um, it. So so we're not going to do it now, Bruce. But um, but what but what um, but what I'm saying is that we can definitely have another Zoom. How to run Alpha on Zoom? So we go through all the functions. We do the breakout group. Uh, rooms and we show people how to do it. I think it will be really nice if there's if there's people on here that want to to do that. Okay. Cool. okay. But is there anything that you want to add, Mobile? No, nothing to add in that. I think a, a good experience session would be really great um, for everyone yeah. to attend who who has never experienced it that way for sure. Good morning. Can I ask a question? Go for it. Okay, my name is Tembega Palmer. Is there a, a, what is the maximum number in Zoom of breakaways? General, you spoke of about six breakaways groups. Now okay. I want to know, I, I want to know, is there a stipulated number in Zoom when you have a bigger group? Thank you. Yeah, I, I think the, the breakaway rooms, you can choose the, 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 the number you want to break away from, but I don't think in the alpha session, you don't want to go more than eight. Am I right? So, so I think if I'm understanding Tembega's, Tembega's question, um, you asking mm. how many breakaway rooms can you have on Tembega. Zoom? So you can have yes. as many as you want. 
um, I think you. I think the cap is quite high. We we sometimes on our calls break away into more than ten groups, um, mm -hmm. but w with the six I was talking about was the maximum number of people that we are recommending you to have in that group. So it was not it was not the the number of groups. So you could have ten groups, but we're saying mm -hmm. in those ten groups have a maximum number of six people in them so that you have that high engagement um, level. Thank you so Pamela, much. Do you, do you know the, the maximum number of breakaways that you can have? I, I don't know the maximum number. No. No there's, no, there's no max number because you can choose um, how many people you want to put in a group, um, if you want people to choose which group to go in, if you want to assign people. Uh, so there's no number in terms of the amount of groups you can create. Um, and as Sam said, we just have a suggestion of how many people could be in a group. But otherwise, you can have a call with 20 breakout rooms um, or 50, depending on what you want to create. Thank you. Pleasure. Any more questions? Someone has their hand raised. The name is, just unmute yourself. Okay, no, it's Jackie. Hi, Sam and everyone. I just, um, maybe on the issue around uh, breakaway rooms. I think for, for alpha, the free alpha that you get, you get about 100 people. That's the maximum number of people you can get, which could mean you can get up to 10. So I'm not sure about the one that you pay and subscribe to as to how many people you can get. So I think as the more people you get in the Zoom, as in, um, I'm sorry, I'm at the airport, so there's noise. Um, so if you do that, you, you take the one that you pay uh, a subscription for more than 100 people, it will definitely give you more um, breakaway groups. But the one that uh, we, is free that normally people use, there's only 100 people that can join per session. Thank you. Thank you. Is that Mandisa? I can't see. Her. Yes, Sam. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's so nice me. to have you here. We've got a. I yeah, haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you for that um, clarification. Anything else? Sam, can I come in for a moment? I'm not sure if this is the right uh, vehicle for it, mm. but I'm involved with the prayer squad and. Um, to be able to, to work sort of independently, I found I had to uh, fictitiously um, set up a new um, alpha course that I was running an alpha course so that I would be able to get all of the weeks um, in one go uh, because um, otherwise I was just waiting, I was only getting it as distributed by the leader. Is it? possible you what you didn't want what you didn't want was you didn't want um, each of the um, guests to download their own um, uh, whatever whatever you want to call it sessions now um, is, is it possible for me to get a, a put it on a stick or whatever it is all of the sessions without without resorting to as you say trying to set up a, a fictitious alpha um, I don't know if you caught the entire question. I, I caught the middle and end. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't really get what David said at the beginning. Yeah, David, I think um, what we encourage is that if you are running an alpha, um, you can download the episode. So if you are the course administrator, you can download the episode and obviously you'd play it at the session. And what Sam showed you there in that image is that you can get a Vimeo link for each session that you can send to any guest that struggle to connect. So if for that session they struggle to connect, you can send in the Vimeo link. We don't encourage you to, um, to sort of give guests all the sessions because, uh, um, because Alpha is about the experience of being together and going through group discussion um, together. But if, you, if they miss a session um, or they struggle to connect in the session, you can send them that link and they can actually watch the session offline and then come back in for breakup rooms. I hope I've understood your question correctly, but um, essentially we just encourage the course administrator or whoever's running the course to actually register um, and not to have guests 
be on the platform uh, to register there and, and get the videos themselves because then they're missing out on the actual full experience of the alpha. I hope no. I've answered your question. If I haven't, you can uh, let me know. No, it actually doesn't quite. Uh, oh, sorry. Could you clarify? No, no but 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 um, I uh, I think I should have um, started off first of all by saying that I've moved house and I lost all of the sessions that I had on a stick. I found them very okay. useful because because in the prayer squad we're not always doing things at the time that that the 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 alpha's being run for that particular evening. We might be busy at other times. And so what I had to do was to pretend, pretend that I was uh, setting up an alpha course, managed to get a stick and, and load all of these sessions, keep yes. them to myself, nobody else gets them. Yes. Now, uh, uh, can, I, can this happen for me again now somehow? Perhaps if you can give us your email address, David, then we can actually get in touch. Um, I'll ask David to get in touch with you next week and we can chat through how you can access the, the videos. Would that help? Yeah, yeah, great. And I'm sorry, that I'm just revealing that I'm a little bit sort of capability limited. No, okay. no, no, no. We're here to help. So if you just put yeah. your email address in the chat or if um, Bruce can share it with us, we'll get in touch with you next week. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Thank you. Okay, that's, that's brilliant. Thanks so much. Pleasure, pleasure. Um, so if there aren't any more questions, um, I'd like to just um, take the... And, and also um, in, in the training at the beginning, I did say that I'm going to touch a little bit on the weekend away because um, we, we have had questions right at the beginning when we started um, with Alpha Online. A lot of leaders were, were worried about how are we going to do the weekend away? How are we going to, because you know with Alpha in person, there's a weekend away where everybody signs up and we physically go away. So now with the restrictions and with COVID and, and, and um, these precautions that need to be taken and with places just um, shut down at some point, how, how are churches um, doing the weekend away with the people um, online? And so we, we, there's, a, there's a few things that we've, we recommend. And there are just some good practices that um, some churches have been have been doing. And I'm just going to share this briefly with you again, um, because we we do have training where we dig deep into the different into the different aspects of Alpha. So um, just before I, I talk about the weekend away, um, if you want to dig deep with small groups, we, we, we can gather again here and, and dig deep with small groups. We, and, and, and go even further in terms of how we can prepare our, our groups. If we wanna talk about um, creating a culture of invitation in, in your church, um, how, we, how can we do this online? We, we do have a training where we can assist you with that in terms of how do you assist your, your team with creating this invitational culture um, online. Because ultimately, that is what Alpha is all about. Um, where in your church, when you are running Alpha in person, you want to be creating that, that invitational church, that open church. Now, how are we doing this online when people aren't even going to church? So, um, and how are we doing this with our Alpha? So we do have training on that. And we, can all, we, we do have a space where we can also sit with you in a coaching session and, and really talk to you about... Um, how to do the weekend away, but I am going to touch on it now um, briefly. And um, I would really recommend our coaching sessions that we hold. Um, you can sign up for them. You'll see there on, on our, our website. Um, on a Wednesday, we, we do a coaching session. But if a Wednesday doesn't work for you, um, I, know, I know that members of our team are happy to, to do a coaching session um, if, if, you know, we can agree on a time, any other time apart from a Wednesday. But um, if you want to go dig deeper again with the, with the weekend away, we're happy to, to do that over a coaching session or in a training uh, similar to this. But the first thing is, how do we even get started with the weekend away online? Um, so I'm just going to tell you about what we've seen other churches doing. 
and um, what we've seen working. And um, I will share again the document with Bruce um, for, for him to, to, share, to share with you. But the one thing that we've seen working is, um, for example, if today was the day that we go away for the weekend and this was our alpha group, then what we recommend is, one of the recommendations is that there's three videos that, that, um, that, you, that you would watch and, and have a discussion on on a weekend away. So some churches have been sending all of those videos, like a link to, to their hosts. And then what the hosts do is they send the guest, so your alpha guests that you would normally have your discussion with, they send those videos so that they watch the videos before they come to, to the weekend. So on a, on a Friday or Thursday, you would send the guest the videos and you would ask them to, to watch um, these videos. And then on, a, on Saturday, if that's your weekend, then you would um, come together, talk about the videos that you watch, then go into your breakout rooms um, to have the discussions about about the videos. So, and, and this is, is plainly done because obviously time is limited. So there is no expectation for any church to have a week, an entire weekend away online on, on the computer. That, that just is not, doesn't call for good engagement. Um, so we know that the maximum time that people are doing the weekend away is is three hours and maybe at a push four hours because there is worship you can you can still do your worship in the morning collectively and um, uh, do the corporate worship together and then your MC again comes and explains that everybody has watched these videos and then you go into your breakout rooms and you have discussion um, on the videos that you've watched we have again seen some churches do the two videos sending the two links and doing and, and, and watching those separately, coming for a discussion, and on here, doing the last video, watching the, that video together, and then uh, so that there's that sort of um, community when they're watching the video, then breaking out into, into um, their breakout rooms to go in, and discuss. So that's just the one, the, the one part, the video and the discussion. And then we, the other part to the weekend away is your um, your prayer ministry, which um, the 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 weekend away for me the prayer ministry is one of the most important thing that you get to do, because this is where you start introducing uh, people to experience the work of the Holy Spirit in their lives. People can invite the Holy Spirit in their lives, and this this is the like one of the most crucial parts on Alpha at the weekend away. And we, we do um, know that when we're running face-to-face -face Alpha, the weekend is where a lot of people decide to um, give their lives to Jesus. And that's when they have that um, encounter with, 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 with God with, with, and wanting to invite Jesus into their, into their lives. And so we want to make sure that even with this Alpha, that we are helping you to create the space to do this, for this to happen and also, um, and, how, and how you do this. And so um, for the prayer, because there's still prayer ministry that needs to take place, um, we've seen churches do it um, in, in different, approaching this in different ways as well. So some churches have been coming um, on collectively after they've done the video um, in their small groups. So not in this big video, in the, not in this big um, um, setting, in their small groups, in their breakaway rooms, um, they can invite people um, for prayer. So those that they can have a, a prayer uh, um, a ministry happening there, which, which is led by the, the host. So the host can pray for people and the, 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 if there's a helper, they can start praying for people and people can pray for each other in, in, the, in the group. I saw this happening very beautifully again in, in an alpha that, um, that I had an opportunity to, to be part of right at the beginning of lockdown. And this was very uh, surprising to me that even on an online space, people, um, even those that were doing alpha for the very first time, those who are, who are experiencing any church thing or anything to do with church for the very first time and experiencing it on the online platform, 
when it came to the prayer, they were so open and willing to be prayed for and to pray for others. And so it's important not to take this space away just because we're online um, uh, out of the fear that it's not going to go well, because I don't think we can limit and restrict the Holy Spirit, no matter which platform we're on. And so you can encourage people to pray for one another, or if people want you as a host to pray for them, um, you, you, you can pray for them. But what we've seen, another thing that's been happening is people may want to be uh, uh, having a one-on-one a one -on -one prayer time with their host. And so you can, again, put up the invitation that if anybody beyond the weekend wants to have prayer with the host, if there's anything specific that they want prayer about, you can have a one-on-one -on -one prayer session with that person if they don't want it to be done corporately in, 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 in a group set up. So I would say come Mon set that up and come Monday on your WhatsApp group or whatever group that you would have been using as a channel of communication during your alpha, you, you just remind people that um, they're welcome to contact you for prayer or you take the initiative and you contact, because it's only five or six people in your group, you contact people and you, you spend 10 to 15 minutes with them in, in, in uh, prayer and prayer and ministering to them in that way. Um, you also know that during the, the, the alpha in person, the affirmation, affirming each other on the weekend is an important element of, of the weekend. So you can still do this corporately um, when before people go away into the week and you do that one-on-one -on -one prayer, you can still do your affirmation um, uh, um, with, with your group. And then in the week, you can do the one-on-one -on -one prayer. Just 10 minutes, just 15 minutes. Some people, they've even done five minutes. Obviously, depending on how the spirit moves in that, in, during that time of, of your prayer session, it can take anything between five to 15 minutes or longer. So um, that's, that's how, um, that are some of the uh, approaches that churches have been using with the weekend. Mobile, is there anything at all that you would like to add with the weekend away and prayer ministry on the weekend? No, but just to say that, um, as Sam mentioned, that there's also training videos that you can find on the website that you can do together with your team right before the weekend that can prepare you as well, just as a refresher for the weekend. Cool. And then last but not least, so this is still alpha. Um, so there is no different um, alpha. So the, 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 the biggest question that was coming through at the beginning um, when we started running alphas online is that when are we going to see the alpha online material? The alpha material is still the same. The videos are still the same. It's the resources that are preparing you for doing Alpha Online that are slightly different because the platform is different. So we still encourage you to go um, as the Alpha team or the Alpha administrator, you go onto our website, you register your Alpha, which is what we've normally done. You download your training. So when you're training your team, you will train them on how to, to run Alpha Online, how to facilitate your, your discussions online, but you also train them on the Alpha on the alpha um, training, which is the three videos that, um, that, that you would normally download, which is the alpha essential, um, small groups, how to do small groups on alpha. You still need the basics of doing that before doing small groups online, just how to basically do small groups when you are, when you are doing alpha in your church. And, and lastly, the prayer, the prayer ministry. You still need as a team um, to, to do training on how do we do um, prayer ministry on Alpha. This training is not about training you on how to how to do prayer ministry in general, because we believe that as you are here, you are part of churches, you are leaders, you know how to do prayer ministry. But this training is how to do it on Alpha, because remember, the guests that come on Alpha may not necessarily be Christians. They may not necessarily know your church. They're not. May, they may not know how to pray. They may not even know where to start when you when when you talk about prayer. Some people may not even um, may not have even prayed out loud in front of anybody else. So this training on the prayer ministry just prepares you on how to do prayer on 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 Alpha, like the do's and the don'ts. So those things still apply when you are running Alpha online. 
And when you go on our website, you can download um, all of the, the, the training. And that takes me right to the end of our, of our training. It is now 10.24, and I think we are doing well for time because this training was scheduled to finish at 10.30. So if there are no further questions, I can just hand on to Mobile. I can see she's wanting to say yes. something. There was a question from Tembega. She was just asking if they are paying for this training. If, if you are paying for this training right now, Absolutely not, Tembega. Um, this training is free. Alpha is, Alpha is a resource that is free to the church. And so um, there is no payment that's required um, of you to, to be able to attend this training or to be able to download and use any of our online, online resources. So Alpha is free to the church and it's free to your guests. So there's no payment. Thank you. You're welcome, Timmy. Any other questions? Um, well, and then, uh, yeah? It's not a question, but it's, it's, it's an appreciation of what you have been doing um, this morning and that um, you know what you are doing and you're giving us a lot of information and I, I, I am now enlightened because it's my first time also like Tambega. <laughs> um, my first time being on this, on this, on, 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 um, uh, on this uh, platform or even in the course. So thank you very much for, for your time. Uh, both you and Mobile have, have, have been outstanding in this one. Thank you very much. I, and I'm hoping that as you were suggesting that there should be another one, um, that I'll be part of that one too, so that I can extend my horizon of, of knowing the things. Um, we might be, we might have been in church for a long time, but these platforms are giving us new ways of, of knowing how to worship God in the same way. Like you're saying, the Holy Spirit doesn't get to be prevented by anything, even if we're in this platform, we are still feeling that. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much. Uh, we really appreciate that that comment. Um, yeah, thank you very much. And you know, the the ultimate goal here is is for us to see you going to run Alpha. But that's not the ultimate ultimate. The ultimate goal of running Alpha in your church is so that you can, as leaders in your church, help people to establish, build a relationship with Jesus, develop a relationship with Jesus, know what it's like to have a personal relationship with Jesus. That is the ultimate goal. Um, and for us to be able to support you in your ministry. Um, that is ultimately what, we, what we're trying to do. And, and if you can just allow us to do that and, um, and show us where we can support you, um, if you can just be brave and go and try Alpha online. Even if you just try with a, a small group, we, we're not asking much of, of anyone, but there's churches that's, that have said, oh, this is really intimidating. So we're just gonna start with a small group and they've started with a small group and it's gone well and they've just grown from that. And um, we, we're just gonna ask you to just be brave, um, just start with a small group if you think small group if you think this is um, in, um, overwhelming and we are also here to support you we've got a church support line and Debbie she is absolutely incredible and the rest of our team Tom who's in in, in Joburg um, myself here in in, in KZN with Mobile um, Debbie is in Cape Town we are happy to support you along the way we're happy to hold your hand as you prepare train your teams whatever support that you need for you to be able to get started, get Alpha um, off the ground in your church. We're happy to do that. Um, Bruce is here as the, as the, the link between us and, 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 and yourselves. If, if, if you want to go through Bruce, we're happy for that as well. And also just for, for Bruce to continuously be in, in engagement with us, letting us know what are your needs and where we can support you. Um, so thank you so much for, for your time today. Hello, before you close. Hello. Hi. It's Wellington, yeah? 
Hi, Wellington. Hi. Uh, I was just cut off while we're still busy and I've just reconnected myself. Mm. Uh, I heard in the beginning that you said uh, this, uh, uh, what you're discussing now is going to be recorded. Uh, I just want to find out, are we able to access it? Absolutely. Um, Bruce, um, who's on this call, um, will be sharing the recording with everyone. Um, Wellington, I just want to uh, find out, does Bruce have your email address? If not, if you can pop it in the chat. Um, we were asking people at the beginning just to pop in your, your parish that you're from, um, the area, Durban, Joburg, as a example and your email address. So we make sure that everyone that's on this training is going to get the recording and any necessary documents that alongside um, that recording from this training. Okay, can I say, can I tell him now? Um, there's, a chat, there's a chat function at the bottom. Okay, so yeah. You just pop it on there so we can have a record of it. Okay, Chris. hello? Hello. Hello. I think Wellington, we can be in touch with you. So yeah. if Bruce has your contact details, we can yeah. be in touch with you next week. So we'll put down your details mm. and okay. be in touch next week. That, um, okay, no problem. Thank yeah. you very much. Pleasure. Okay. Wow. Sam, just before we end, there was a question from Dalmain about what is the approximate duration of a typical alpha online session? I would say two hours. I would, I would put aside two hours and I'll explain why I say two hours. Um, you want to put aside some time um, when the collective, so when everybody, so for example, let's say you've, you're running Alpha and all the people that have, that have signed up for Alpha come to, let's say 40, 50 people. It's going to take about five to 10 minutes at the beginning of those people coming in um, the, the MC welcoming, welcoming them um, and so forth. And some people do worship at the beginning before they watch the video. Some people do worship. Um, maybe one, they do one song of worship together. And, um, and then the, the, the video that people would either watch together or go into their breakout rooms to watch together is, um, is 30 minutes. So you want to allow um, the, the time for that. So already that's about, that's about uh, 45 minutes to an hour. And before people, after they've watched the video, and if that's the format you're using, before they go into their breakout rooms, um, they usually take a five minutes, loo break, a tea break, and then everybody, again, another two minutes settling into their break, into their discussion groups. And then the discussion is 30 minutes. So I would all together put away, set aside two hours for, from the time people log in to the time um, you close off. Thanks, uh, Sam. That's very helpful. Thank you so much. You're welcome, uh, Dalmin. Okay, great. I see that um, our our group is is growing. We're now sitting on sixty two. So, um, if you can, if you can. Um, quickly before we close the session, pop your details onto the chat if, if Bruce doesn't have them. Um, and just to make sure that you get, you get the, um, this recording of the training and the necessary supporting training document, which would be this, this presentation that I shared today, um, the platforms document of, of the different platforms that are available, and the document on the weekend away. Sam, um, there was a question from Beulah, which I don't want to miss, um, sure. but perhaps she can also expand on it so we can understand. But she said, is there a need for spiritual accompaniment in the diocese? Who must I speak to about this? So Beulah, perhaps you can just clarify um, if your question is for us or for Bruce, um, and then mm. we can help answer it. Mm. Well, I don't know who it's for. I just wondered because I had done a course over the last couple of years with the Center for Christian Spirituality and the Andrew Murray Center when I was in the Cape. And it does seem like, you know, people might be struggling. And if I have the certificate and it could be useful, I was just wondering uh, about that. Yeah. Is that enough? Yes, great. So perhaps 
um, Bruce, um, you can follow up on that. Um, and yeah, just speak with, um, follow up in terms of anyone who's attended the training and what can be done to expand on that and offer that for anyone in the diocese. Thank you. Thank you. I think we are now um, heading for trouble because it's gone half past, half past and I'd really like to honor everyone's time. It is a Saturday and um, we do respect that this is time away from your family. Um, and so we are just gonna, uh, we'd love to close here um, in terms of um, finishing this training, but thank you so much, so much. It is actually, very heartwarming to see all of you here, all 68 of you here on a Saturday morning. Um, as, as, as much as um, Ubaba O'Kennan was, was saying um, to Nobile and I, we appreciate it just as much as, as, as you do because um, it, it, it is an honor and a pleasure for us to be here with you this morning. And so we just wanna honor your time and respect your time and your families and we, we would love to cut it off here and if there's anything else please um, pop it to Bruce if there's a question that wasn't answered there's anything anything at all pop it to Bruce and we'll ensure that um, we respond accordingly but thank you very much we um, we will we will just say a short prayer just to um, yeah to thank the Lord for his presence let's pray Father, you are so, so faithful. We thank you for your presence here this morning. Thank you that um, platforms do not limit you. You are not limited by the four walls of the church and you are not limited by technology. You're not limited by online platforms. We know that you have been moving this morning. Your spirit has been moving, that you have planted a seed in um, in the people that are here attending this training this morning. We thank you for the faithful men and women that are here in attendance today. We pray, Father God, that you may give them, give them the courage, um, give them the this, this spirit to go forth, Father God, to, to do your work. We are so humbled by the fact that you chose us to walk alongside you on your mission because this is your mission lord this is not about us it's not about alpha it's not about our parishes but it's about you and it's about your kingdom that more and more people would come to know you that more and more people would would come to know what it is like to be loved by you so father we just ask you this morning to protect us protect our families our loved ones and even right now, for those that are planning to run Alpha in their churches, we pray that you start working with them on those plans. We, we pray that your spirit may start moving with those plans. For each and every guest that will be attending those Alphas, you know them, Lord. You know who they are. You know their lives. You know where they come from. We ask that you start working on their hearts right now. And so we thank you for your Holy Spirit and we thank you for your love this morning. We give you all the glory and may all the praise and glory go to you, Jesus. In your precious name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you Amen. so much, guys. Have a lovely weekend. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, thank everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Thank you. Jackie, all the best with your flying. Yeah. Be safe. Bye. 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 Good to see Bye. you, Father Bye. Pam. Bye. 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 My neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> you. I right. nearly forgotten you in the invitation of the online World Council. Oh. It's in July from Thank you. Bye. July 16 to okay. 18. Okay, we'll come I'll, back to that. Thank you. I'll send you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.
Bye, guys. Bye bye. Um, this is actually my first time attending this. And actually, I heard you talking about the follow up session. Is there going to be a follow up session on this particular one? Um, so, what we've opened up is to say if, if people need us to um, dive deeper into the different topics that we we're talking about today, that we, we're happy to do that. But once we've set that out um, in the dates, we will let Bruce know and he will communicate it accordingly um, with, the, with everybody in the diocese as he did with this training. Um, so yes, we will have some follow-up training if, 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 if we need to. And I think the sense this morning is that um, we do need to. Um, I did hear Bruce saying, yes, that would be good to talk about platforms um, and, and um, the weekend away. Okay, so thank you so much. Thanks, Mobile. I will just go on your website and get more information. The last time I attended Alpha, it oh. was in, in Singapore. We were on a mission. Mm -hmm. I attended in someone's house. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks, thank you. Have a lovely weekend. Right. Okay, same with you guys. Bye. 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 Yay. Um, um, Mobile. Who is recording? I think you can stop recording I, now. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay.